the building opened in 1928 as Blackpool's second Woolworths before closing in 1994, with Hearts then occupying it for 25 years until it closed down in January 2019. Developers are seeking planning permission to demolish the former Hart store on the corner of Bond Street and Waterloo Road and replace it with a block of 23 holiday apartments, with retail units on the ground floor and parking for 30 cars. Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video and today I am on Bond Street we'll see because it is day four and knocking the heart's place down. So let's get straight into the video and watch them take this roof apart. So as you can tell they have been quite busy for the past four days. They haven't really covered this one but I will on the area today so I thought I'll come and get a bit of footage for you guys. Hope you're all having a wonderful week and it has been horrible weather this week in Blackpool. Today is the only nice day we have for the past four days. Oh yeah, and you all gone now. I heard there might meant to be some talks about a car park coming here. I'm not too sure how true that is. So we've still got a tiny bit of the building left right here. But it is time to move some of the rubble out of the way. So it got a piece of metal, what it looked like, or a piece of wood from the roof and they're using that to scrape everything all down. So they're going back onto the roof right now? No, not just yet, it's still clear in some ways. But just look how easy work it is when you've got the right tools with you. Look at them picking up big pieces of wood up like it, nothing. Amazing what type of machinery we got nowadays. Look like they might be taking a bit of a break at the minute from ripping things down. But at least it's a lot more sunnier today compared to what it have been. Here we've got some people up on top of the roof from like the scaffolding, what they made. They were all speaking to each other just a moment ago. So, they're getting ready to take this roof down. But they look like they've done quite a bit of work in this short time they've been doing it. So it looked like it's back on the move again, clean in some ways. But not that much more left to do now. Looked like it up to pick up a big piece of steel, it looked like. Oh, it looked like it getting a grabber. I wouldn't like to get caught underneath one of them, so. There you go, all connected now. And it must be moving some rubble, I suppose, up the ground, making space to knock some more roof down. Oh, they seem to have stopped for a moment. So then soon it's all connected right, uh, plugging it in, there you go. So I'll probably plug it into that like, there lever so they can open and close it. But that looked like some big cable. Just got some people right at the top, probably checking it all out so they're not um, damaging any of the buildings behind the back. But yeah, can't believe how quick they've done it from start to finish so far. So just walking around to the rear. Got the Blackpool lad right in front of us. And I've been here every single day recording this one. So maybe he might be able to give us some insight on the story. 
Oh, that's an in a second. Right then, so I was just stuck with the Blackpool lad who been here from the start. So, what is your thoughts on this since you've been here for four days? It's, it's very sad to see, you know, that this store, Woolworths previously, and Hearts holds a lot of special memories for everybody. Um, so yeah, it is sad to see, but hopefully it will regenerate um, the area. Well, it haven't really talked in long, haven't it, within four days to come down, what you could see and tell. Like, I always thought it would take a bit longer for a building to come down, but as you can tell there, three thirds of it already came down. Yeah, so I spoke to the project manager on day one and he said it's going to be about five days for the whole of the building to be dropped and two days clearing up, so which is astounding really, just seven days. So we'll see if they can keep that time scale. But as you can see on this video, you know, they're certainly motored on. This is only day four. Right, thanks for that, Blackpool lads. And if you haven't already, you got one, two and three out on the channel. So please go check it out, as always. Right then, if you enjoyed that video, then please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos of the Blackpool area, then hit that subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss any upcoming videos, turn on that no-cursing bell, and I'll see you on the next one.